welcome to another video boys. So today is the day we might be picking up a new watch. vlog we just randomly ended up buying a Lamborghini Urus as you do pretty uh, pretty normal day so today we thought you know I've had this watch for a little while this is a 41 millimeter rhodium dial yacht master it's nice it was my first watch so it has some sentimental value I went to Italy with it and uh, I got robbed at gunpoint for it um, as you can see they didn't succeed because it is on my wrist currently I, I have an entire video explaining that whole story but yeah these guys on a moped pulled up put a gun to my head and uh, because I'm such a fucking boss, they realized, oh my God, it's Marcus Hustle. I'm so sorry they rode away. Partly true, partly not true. The true story is that they did put a gun to my head on my mother's life. That is a true story. Uh, the other partly not so true part is where they realized that I'm Marcus Hustle and they drove away. They don't know who the fuck I am. Anyway, today's vlog, boys. Right now, we're going to a summit. We're going to a influencer summit where there's a bunch of influencers believe it or not. However, let's just see who's there. It's great for connections, great for networking. Maybe we meet some people, some cool people, da da da. This right here, this is where it's at. It's uh, it's called the Museum of the Future, I believe is what it's called. It's a cool little building. Is it a build? What actually classifies a building? Technically, if it has a roof and, uh, and walls, right? And I mean, that has a roof and uh, walls. Yeah, let's just go see Wagwan. And then afterwards, we will go to pick up some cash. Here is a uh, part of the cash. We need some more cash, boys. Cash is king. So we need to go get some more money and then we'll probably go and grab a new watch. So stay tuned. Okay, there's way too many people here. Um, I don't know how to act. We're looking for Harry. We just saw Harry. Um, he's gone now. I feel like asking some weird random questions to random people, but I don't know what questions. I, I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble. What's your body count? Sorry, I mean, what do you do for a living? Bro, I literally just saw Harry as well. Let's just walk around because I, oh, I see him. He's there. Let's speak to this guy. Salam alaikum. Yes, bro. <laughs> good, good, How are you? you yeah, good? chilling, man. Chilling. So in Dubai, you get police cars that are a little bit better than in the UK. In the, in the UK, you get like Ford Fiestas. What, kind, what other police cars do you get in the, in the UK? In the UK, they've got the undercovers are like Golf R's. They got a lot of Golf yeah. R's. That's probably the fastest police car. BMW X5s and yeah, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you have Bentleys. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't even be mad getting pulled over in one of these. Yeah, if they arrested me, I'd be like, okay, sick. What an experience. So right now, I'm in Paris. Right now, I'm in a safari desert. Right now, I'm in an Amazon rainforest. I just travel. I travel. Anyway, this is this. Keep recording. Keep recording. Keep recording. Still recording? This, uh, this summer is a bit washed, but it's a little bit washed, I can't lie. But let's uh, let's go find, to do something. This, hello, what's your name? My name is Harry, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? Uh, not a lot. Right, this is what I mean, you've got washed people like this guy, like what? How am I to, let me interview somebody else. Uh, excuse me, what is this? I have no idea. <laughs> ah. I have no idea what is this. Nah, nothing changes. I feel like this is a scam. <laughs> yeah, it is possible. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an influencer. Oh, okay. Like, uh, what, what exactly? Just YouTube? Did you know that only 2% of the whole population of the world are millionaires? So it's a very slim chance that you get rich. 2% of the population? Yeah. So much waffle going on here, bro. But I respect all you man that, you know, do this influencer stuff. But bro, you got waffle about nothing. Make some money, bro. I feel like I'm losing money by being here. Maybe I need to like, all respect to people. I love it. All right, boys, update. We're done with the summit. Guess who's in that car? That's my business partner's uh, Harry's car. Here we have a cap. Anyway, we're going to pick up the uh, rest of my cash now. And then we're going to go watch shopping and buy a, uh, a brand new timepiece. Yeah, enough of the waffle, let's just go. Let's go. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Come on. You get me. I ain't my brother. Good to see you again, bro. Good to see you, my brother. How are you doing? Please meet me, bro. Yes. How are you doing? Awesome. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, this is like the lit lounge. Obviously, we're yeah. setting up the whole um, Twitch streamers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how's my man got a lift? How are you boys got a lift? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, crazy. crazy. Like, crazy. Like, you camera, man. You get me from mm -hmm. Mars. Yeah, bro. Same. Same. Good, yeah. 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 Good, yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. This is like a living room area. Yeah. You know that? Like, no. Boys, this is... This is, this is our full using. We have the lights. The lights on the pool. And again, for, for you guys watching at home, if you guys are from like the UK or wherever you're watching, bro, this should surely this should be like more than inspiring enough to, to make money, move out here. Imagine waking up every single day, you're you're working out in the sun. In the sun, that's it, man. Bro, yeah, jump in the pool. Jump in the pool, doing one. You just feel happy. Do you know what I mean? Alright, boys. So this is the rest of the cash. Uh, let's go and do some watch shopping. Uh, we're gonna fly over there because uh, the place will shut in about an hour or so. So let's just drive there right now. So I was just saying, boys, the fact that I'm going to pick up this watch now, I'm going to pick up a, a Richard Millie 005 um, FM. Now, I, say, I was speaking to my friend about this and I was saying how f I've been waiting for this watch for so long. This has been a goal of mine for such a long time. And he was like, oh, really? How long have you been waiting for to, to get this watch? I was like, it's been about three, four months. And he looked at me and he was like, what the fuck are you on about? That's not a long time. What do you mean you've been waiting for a long time? I thought you were going to say like, well, like years and years. And the, it's interesting because that made me think about the idea that the fact that like, I'm not joking, like three, four months is a very, very long time for me because in one day I live and experience and do the, the amount of things that the average person would do in a week. And then we got into this conversation that when you're rich, you don't have to wait for things. You get things instantly, right? Because you have money, you're able to fast forward things, get the next day or skip the queue. And it's super, super interesting. It's super interesting. Same as why people fly private, for example, you're just saving time. You don't have to sit there, check in, wait for a queue. You see me, I'm broke, I'm super broke. I can't afford to be flying private every single day yet. But once I do, I will completely understand it. I already understand it. It's like you're just saving time. Time is the most valuable essence. So for all of you boys watching this right now, if you are broke, that means you have a lot of time. That is your asset. Use that. Use that. You need to, you need to use your time to make money. If you are watching this and you have a lot of money, you probably don't have a lot of time like myself. Okay? So get to work. Get to work. Mission remains. quite loud here but basically we got the cash we're here let's just go get some watches shout out to these guys this is a really really nice shop so whenever you guys come to dubai and you need some quality watches shout out to these guys super nice service uh they can source anything for you guys as well if you guys need to sell a watch as well you know where to come. Hey, what's good, Rosa? How are you? How are you? Yeah, good, good to see you, bro. Good to see you. I was saying as well that you guys normally, all of this is full, but you guys have been busy. Yeah, so December we were selling like crazy, you know, Christmas yeah. is there, New Year's gifts, and yeah. we're selling like crazy. Now we've got to stock up again. I've got this to spend, so. This will, we'll do the machine later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first of all, I'd love to tell people a little bit about you guys. So tell everybody that's watching, how, when did you guys start? Where did you guys start as well? So we started two years ago. We were in JLT before in like mm -hmm. a small office space, mm -hmm. and then slowly, slowly, we started growing. I started my social media. Yeah. Social media started taking off. So, eventually, we started off with like I think ten watches, and yeah, yeah, it increased over time. So the office that you had, it wasn't anything like this, right? No, it was, it was literally, literally like a it was a desk, a yeah. laptop, and yeah. just like two chairs. And you guys, uh, can I mention this by the way? Is it a secret that they have offices right next door? Oh, like the big one. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. go. We can say that because this is uh, this blew my mind, bro. When I first walked in here, oh, these guys work inside. But yeah, when I first walked in there, I thought that this was it. Yeah, we this have a whole thing in here so as well. Basically, the entire operation is in house. So yeah, that's good. We have Ian over there, we have a graphics <laughs> designer, we have social media teams, oh, ads teams, website team, SEO, everything's in yeah. house. Yeah. That's sick. This is perfect. This is this should be inspirational for you guys because a lot of people nowadays they only want to have uh, you know online businesses. Now with this, obviously, it's different. You need to have a physical store, but yeah. I think. I think it's so, so, so good to have an in-house office where you can meet your staff members in person. Because you all of a sudden you can talk about random things that you wouldn't otherwise. So if you're exactly. going for lunch. You know, it's, it's more effective as well. If there's anything that goes wrong, yeah. it's not a thing where you have to call and listen, like do this later yeah. on, blah, blah, blah. So you okay. get everything done immediately. So for people watching, because I was one of them, right? When I was, when I was um, younger and I was broke and didn't have any money, I never ever, I was, I was saying this to David, I never understood the idea of how can a person spend more than a thousand pounds on a watch? Like, how can they justify it? Like, you know, the thing is, 
the, the only thing that people really think about watches is that I'm gonna make money on it. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks, okay, Rolex, you're getting it for retail, yeah, you're gonna make money on it in most cases. But what people don't understand is, let's say now, God forbid, your house burns down, you lose your job, everything goes south. Mm -hmm. With the watches anywhere in the world, you want to go to Thailand, US, UK, Sweden, mm -hmm. anywhere, you will sell it and get immediate cash. Mm -hmm. So it's a safe place to lock up your money. Now you're gonna give me this cash. Mm -hmm. God forbid something goes wrong and you need to sell it, you can sell it within 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Can you sell your property within 15 exactly, minutes? Exactly, yeah. Can you yeah. sell your car within no, 15 minutes? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that many people don't, they only think about you know making money and Liquid assets, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, first of all, the idea of the fact that it's an asset, that in itself, I know yeah. it seems like common sense, right, yeah. to us now, but... And you know, at the same time, from a business standpoint, mm -hmm. or at least in Dubai, yeah, people need to see these things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If, if, if I saw you out at a restaurant or just at a business meeting yeah. as well, if I see you wearing, let's say, an RM now in this yeah. case, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take you more seriously because I know what you're doing yeah. is obviously going well for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you more seriously and, like, you know, it gives you more credibility. Yeah. Alternatively, which is what keeping that money in an account. Because nobody like, knows you don't have a exactly. digit above What's your head, right? <laughs> Even though people don't like showing off, by yeah. driving nice cars, by wearing luxury watches, mm -hmm. dressing nice, mm -hmm. it gives a sense of authority and you know uh, credibility to who you are and what yeah. you're doing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, guys. Hopefully, you got a little bit of um, idea on why people do these things and uh, the benefits you can get, especially in a place like Dubai. I think outside of Dubai, you couldn't really. I mean, you could. Probably wear some of them, but no, still, like, is a bit. I'm different. from Sweden, and I I do this for a living. Yeah. When I go to Sweden, I'm naked. Naked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no maybe an Apple no Watch, more, but <laughs> no, 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 no AirPods, no nothing. Yeah. So you're right. Let's let's get to it. So for guys um, that are watching this as well, this was my first ever piece that I bought. Um, this was actually a goal of mine for a little while. Um, I I told Kevin this as well about the the story behind it. So I got it from A Jewelers in um, in London. And, uh, you know, I literally, the day after I got it, I, we flew to Italy and that's where I was driving that Ferrari and yeah. it was on my wrist and I got robbed at gunpoint. Um, they didn't take it, it's right here. <laughs> so for that reason, I don't ever want to get rid of it. Like for me, even though this is what, I don't know, maybe 13,000 pound now, 14,000, um, I just don't want to sell it. So I'm going to keep it. Um, but let's talk about the RM. So, um, Should I take up the RM? Yes, please. Yeah. Salam. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there he is. How are you good? How are you? I'm glad. Good to see you, Rod. Cool, bro. This is perfect timing. We're just going to bring out the watch now. <sighs> this is the beautiful piece right here. Um, this is the one that we're going to be buying. Funny enough, Kevin, um, I was saying this to David off camera as well. Um, you sent this to me as a picture and you were like, what about this one? I was like, nah, no, thank you. Not a fun. David I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this was literally what, like two days ago. I think you sent it to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's amazing. So if you want to tell people a little bit about kind of this specific model, so it's an RM5, white gold. So initially you were after the RM10. Yeah. I sent you this one has a bit of a smaller case size to it, mm -hmm. but it sits nicer on the wrist. But you have it in white gold together with the blue inner ring, and you have the yellow accents on it. And the special thing about it is mm -hmm. actually on the back side as well. I told you it was limited. Mm -hmm. So if we take a look here. If you zoom in over there, you can see this is a Philippe Mas edition, so it's limited to 40 pieces made, and your piece is numbered six. I love that. So, All right, let's put this on. Quite a nice feature. So, six out of 40, there's only 40 in the world. Exactly. These ones. Yeah. Well, I mean, bro, for my first one, I think this is yeah, a. No, this is a great one, and like, it's not really an RM5 when you're getting a 40 piece limited, so you still have that extra touch to it. I love that. I love that. What a guy. Thank you, bro. So, <laughs> it's a sick piece, enjoy it. Thank you so much, brother. All right, well, also, we need to pay for it. So, first of all, let's count the money. Let's make sure let's we have enough. <laughs> so, yeah, this is fucking dope. Guys, also, keep rolling, by the way, because I have this um, to show you guys. So, this is my lock screen. This is something that I made, like, a little vision board at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year, right? And this is just a bunch of different things that I just want to achieve in life. So, what do we have? This is the spirit of ecstasy. This is for the Rolls Royce. Um, I've got one now. Um, Bugatti, but it's not quite yet. Uh, we've got a Patek, and that's definitely in uh, in the future. I'm looking to get one of those. This is just some more money. I think I uh, completed that one. This one here is a house, and this was particularly my mum's house, so completed that this year as well. Then we have a, a YouTube plaque, so I just want to grow my YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. We've got more of these videos coming. Uh, and then here we have an RM. So this one in particular is like two and a half million dollars, so I don't have this one, but an RM nevertheless. So it's super exciting because this goes to prove, and if you guys haven't as well, there was a video of me going back home uh, to my old, old house in Latvia where I grew up, literally in the middle of nowhere. It was just, yeah, that's how I grew up. So if I'm able to do it and come from conditions like that, then you guys can do anything as well. This is just a testament to that. Cool, man. All good. Amazing. Fucking amazing. Fuck it up. There you go, boys. Uh,
website developers. Yeah, well, what do you guys are, think? Uh, yeah, a lot of them come from Instagram, but majority of them come from mm. my uh, my social media for now at least. Alright yeah. boys, so we're gonna go grab some food now. We haven't eaten all day. That's the one thing about these vlogs. Like for you guys, you guys are watching probably at home or whatever, and uh, it's probably like a couple minutes. But for us, this is an entire day. You guys saw us start recording from the morning, and then now it is 9.27 p.m. Anyway, we're gonna grab some food now. One of my friends, Mitchell, I'll put him on the camera as well. He is one of the greatest people when it comes to networking. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask him some good questions today about networking and pieces of advice because a lot of you guys, you guys need to start networking. You guys need to start collecting with the right people. However, there's a time and a place. There's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. Um, so we're gonna go meet uh, Mitchell right now. I'm gonna introduce you guys to him and uh, I'm gonna ask him some questions about uh, networking. So. Right now we're going to Five Palm, so I'll show you guys what Five Palm looks like. All right, cool boys. So we pulled up to Five Palm. Here's the whip. Um, also, by the way, I think it's free. I think you stamp it, they give it to you free. I don't know. Last time I came, it was like a hundred pounds for parking, and so fuck this place. And I was just saying off camera, the type of people that come here. Um, <laughs> let's just put it this way: the women here. Anyway, I have a wife anyway, so I, no problem. So during the daytime. This is where the transactions happen, put it that way. I've never done it, I think it's disgusting, but this is what I've been told. This is absolutely incredible. This is called West Palm, on the palm, as you can imagine. That is Five Palm, where we're obviously at. Uh, this is actually uh, the marina, so that's where we first moved to, when we first moved to Dubai. Uh, let me try and point out the, the building, it was that one there, I think it was that one. We lived at the penthouse at the top. As soon as we moved to Dubai, it was insane. We could see this as the view. Do you know how motivating it is to be looking at all of these yachts, this incredible view? This yacht right here, this is the second or the third largest yacht in the entire world. It's owned by one of the sheikhs here in Dubai and it's just chilling right there. It's absolutely insane. It's worth about $600 million. Nuts, boys. boys. Where else can you get this in the world? This is... You know what's mad? People come here on holiday for like one week and I hear this all the time. They're like, oh, I don't want to go back to the UK. I don't want to go back. Don't. Why can't you just make a business, work from this little thing and call it a laptop and you can live here? That's what I've done. Good. Guys, this Hi. is Mitchell. Mitchell vlog. <laughs> Alright boys, we're here now with Mitchell. Hello. You guys just saw him. Um, so Mitchell is incredible at networking. You, yeah. you guys, you are one of the best people that I know in Dubai. When it comes to like, okay, can you, do you know this person? Can you message this person? You'll get them tomorrow. Uh, the likes of the Nail Boys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's so many, I don't actually know the names of them. But every single time you're like, oh yeah, I was with this person, this person, this person. So for people watching, and I was, I was saying this on a previous clip, is that networking is super fucking important. Yeah. However, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. Yeah. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. You probably don't know exactly what I'm going to ask you. Um, but just overall, for somebody that's watching, because most of these guys will be new to business. Um, they are just starting out. They, uh, they probably don't have too much money. So technically, they don't have a lot of value to them, right? Um, in terms of networking and meeting people and connecting with them, do you think they should do it already from day one or do you think they should build something and then connect with them or just in general, what kind of advice you would give to people when it comes to networking? I think you've got to show value before obviously you start networking because if you network with people and you don't have any value and they're not going to see any value in you, you know? So for all the people that I've met here in Dubai, I've known someone that can get me something, you know? Mm. So I think it's important to, if you don't have value, know somebody that has value. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's someone that owns a car rental company, maybe it's someone that owns a property company, something or someone with some kind of service or like good, you know? Yeah. And then take advantage of that, you know? Well, you just said there, boys, you got to understand that. What is networking really and truly? I mean, like other than just randomly meeting people out and about, when you really go out of your way to network and you want to meet somebody, it's just exchange of value, yeah, right? Exactly what you said. But when you're starting out and if you don't have any value, you can leverage other people's value. Yeah, yeah, so if you know somebody yeah. who's very good at marketing, yeah. then be like, oh, by the way, you do this business. I have a friend who's really amazing. Boom, boom, you can introduce him. Yeah. It's like, I think it comes down to being like a power broker, you know, mm. where you put two people of power in the same room and you benefit or, you know, you're looked at as the person that's put that whole situation together, you know? Yeah. So I think in Dubai, it's the best place to do it. Everybody wants to benefit off something. It's very transactional but only broke people will say that transactional stuff is like it doesn't mean anything you know but those people you know they don't make any money they don't fucking do anything really exactly. so yeah transactional business is the way to go you know amazing Mitchell thank you so much bro 
quite a legend. <laughs> I'll leave Mitchell's uh, social medias down below. Make sure you follow him as well. Um, but guys, matter of fact, that will probably be up for the vlog. This has been quite an extensive vlog. Went ahead and picked up the Richard Emile. Uh, I'm gonna say it like that from now on just to piss all of you guys off who don't have one. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I honestly really, really appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like on the video. If you like these vlogs, you want me to make more of these vlogs and just show my life, etc. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make another one. So again, thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Have your 1.6 thousand. I ain't got that sort of money. Right, I'll take 10 of them, please. <laughs> <laughs>